What's up everybody? This is the Act Man here, and today I've come to the conclusion that Mr. Beast is a terrible man. Mr. And I thought today we could use this video as a safe space to talk about and come forward with all of the terrible things that Mr. Beast has done to each and every one of us. As I'm no doubt sure you know, Mr. Beast has committed the reprehensible crime of curing 1,000 people's blindness. That's right. He's just restored their sight without their consent. Such a man has no place on YouTube anywhere, in my opinion. Such despicable acts make me squirm. Gives me conniptions. Naturally, this has generated a lot of controversy as Mr. Beast is such a prominent figure in YouTube. And it's, it's just so wild that he would go out of his way to cure other people's uh, physical ailments. Actually, actually come forward with the money himself to pay for these operations and travel the world and do that. To me, this is the mark of the beast, of the devil. These people were meant to be blind, and they were meant to be blind forever, because that is what Jesus wanted. And you know that Mr. Beast is a big fan of the beast, if you know what I mean, the devil. That's why he's doing all of this. But like I said, let's go back to, to our safe space uh, and how long I can keep this facade up. <laughs> Let, let's go back to the safe space, okay? Uh, I'm going to come forward with my own Mr. Beast story, and I hope you all come forward with yours in the comments below, okay? Mr. Beast told me he was going to uh, end world hunger. Cure it, in fact, with his Beast Burger phenomenon. Well, I'm still hungry. I don't see a Beast Burger here or anywhere, do you? This is when I knew Mr. Beast was truly an awful person. Um, because he never f fulfilled his promises of ending world hunger. He hasn't done that yet. And how can you, ch how can you trust a guy like that? Huh? Is it, has the joke gotten old or is it still funny? I don't know. But okay. Okay. To be real, this is fucking wild that, that donating to charity and curing people's physical disabilities is like controversial somehow. I, I never would have, out of all the controversies, I'm going to say this right now, out of all the YouTuber related controversies I have ever seen on my time on the internet, this is the stupidest. This is by far the the worst possible thing you could critique a man for is for being too charitable. What? How are people upset about this? I know how because they're critically and chronically online. People from Reddit and Twitter, it's, it's like bottom of the barrel cesspool. Th those people that want a virtue signal. Like, like with Hogwarts Legacy, right? And I was like, you care about, you care so much about this issue, then donate to it. And people were like, nope, oh, sorry, I'm broke. But they had time to talk shit on Twitter and Reddit instead of like actually contributing to anything. Now, it's okay to criticize people. And there's things to criticize about Mr. Beast. I think we all looked at this thumbnail and, and, and it's like, why do, why did the people in your thumbnails look like fake you? It looks like someone photoshopped Mr. Beast into their like fake YouTube ad. And they did a really shitty job of it. Just, you know, just green screen it out and add some effects on your, on your face. Anyways, the fact that Mr. Beast gets criticism f for charity is is what gets to me. Like, yeah, you could, you could say, okay, the videos, I don't like his videos. You could say that, totally fine. I think his videos are the best kind of video. Mr. Beast has, has successfully created one of the best content loops uh, possible do good incredibly good thing for people record it and make video video makes money use money to do more good charitable things for people it is a circle of giving and charity and, and you know it's pretty clear that he is doing this for benevolent reasons of course he needs to profit from it you can't just give away a million dollars like every fucking day and get nothing back it's like what are you talking about uh, i'm getting off topic though uh, uh, so I thought we would take a look at some of the very valid criticism Mr. Beast has gotten uh, after his most recent video. People honestly praising Mr. Beast yet again. This guy does poverty tourism for cash. If he pays a person's medical bills lottery style without informing anyone with his platform that it's fucked, he needs to do that. He's just profiting off his ability to do so. Oh no, it's, oh no, it's retarded. And what is this? This is, oh no, it's a furry political channel. Oh, great. Great, I've always wanted to listen to one of these before. Furry politics, great, great news. So th this is one of those posts where it basically says that 
Uh, you cannot provide entertainment un unless you are making a, a statement and a message, unless you point to the camera and say, and guys, remember that healthcare in America needs to change, right? You, we need to do something about this. Th that's basically what you're asking Mr. Beast to do. Well, shut the fuck up. He's the artist. Not every video has to, you know, be a big preachy. You don't have to make a, a huge big point about something in, in every piece of media. He's profiting off of his ability to cure people's blindness. How is that a bad thing? He's, he's paying for it. I, I hope he I hope he cures the whole world. Wouldn't that be awful? It's like a blurred spot in my vision. Oh, well, there. <sighs> I'm cured. Truth be told, it, it is a really terrible thing what Mr. Beast has done. He's cured a thousand people's blindness who now have to see fucking batshit dumbass takes like from this furry politics channel Twitter account. Like from pe people like the serfs. Like this, you are so fucking stupid. Imagine the blind people coming out here and they're like, oh my God, I can see. I should go on Twitter. Take them out. Take my eyes out. Just take them. Oh man, this guy, this guy actually got Mr. Beast uh, to reply to it. It did raise awareness and get tons of people talking. Also, what profits? The average Mr. Beast video lost 1.5 million last year. You're completely correct in that it has gotten people talking. I will take the L on that and delete the tweet. But come on, Jimmy, are you serious? You have multiple channels, a clothing line, an international fast food chain that's in my city. You're not in the business of losing money. Should he be? What? Why do you want? What? He should be in the business of losing money. And then you had people making like, <laughs> well, to be fair, I'm doing, <laughs> I'm doing a similar thing like this. And here's another thing, right? You shouldn't be looking at furry politics channels to, to get an opinion on Mr. Beast, right? Look at what his colleagues have to say. Look at other bigger, larger YouTubers who have gotten a lot of views and subs and been on the platform a while. What do they say about Mr. Beast? Mostly good things. Like the type of content Mr. Beast makes it is literally so perfect that I, I believe YouTube uses Mr. Beast as their poster child. This is the guy that they, they prop up on stage whenever they can to associate with the YouTube brand. His content is that perfect. It gets a lot of views. It gets a lot of traction. It always hits trending. People always talk about what he's doing and it helps a lot of people and it's entertaining. It's just the perfect content from a business standpoint. For YouTube, that's what I have to say. I mean, I saw a video of him going to a grocery store, buying everything in the grocery store and then giving it away. And, you know, people coming into the, the store being like, oh, you know, I'm going to buy my groceries. And here's this guy who's just like, nope, I'll take care of that for you. It's like, and then donating all the excess food to, to a food shelter. People that complain about Mr. Beast will never do anything as benevolent, kind and, and charitable as w what Mr. Beast has done in one single video. It's like, all they know how to do is just complain about things that they hate on, on the internet. And I don't know why you hate charity. Not downplaying the good actions people like Mr. Beast have done over the years, but when your entire... But I'm not gonna downplay the great, amazing things he's done that I will never do, but... You know, my brother once told me that nothing someone says before the word but really counts. But when your entire business model now revolves around philanthropy, prizes, contests, and giveaways, can it really be true selflessness if that's now proven to garner viewership and success? Indigo Gaming, where's your fucking brain? Do you have a brain stem? Do you have a prefrontal cortex up here? Oh my god, charity gets views? What, what, what the fuck? Why? No, let's go back to 3 a.m. challenge videos where we call recently deceased content creators and, and celebrities. That's the type of content we should go back to, right, Indigo Gaming? Right? Charity? You're upset that charity videos get views? Huh? Who's your fucking brain? You got no fucking brain! But when has Mr. Beast ever outed himself as someone who is inauthentic in what he was doing? I've never seen a, like, this is not like, hey, I'm I'm going to the world's poorest country and I'm gonna take a picture of me going like, whoa, look at all these poor black people. You know, this, Mr. Beast has never done anything so like fucking obvious that, that he's, you know, doing this for nefarious reasons. Like, of course the man has to turn some kind of a profit so it, it keeps the cycle going. Like all the trees he's planted, it's just, Mr. Beast is a far better person than I will ever be. And I can fully accept that. I. 
Hope I'm a Fraction is entertaining, you know? But Comparison is the thief of joy. It's like people, people are upset that this type of content gets views and is successful. It, isn't it the best kind of content to get views and be successful? Is something that shines a light on some aspect of life or society that could be improved, improving it, and then leaving it at that. I love how people are, are upset uh, for the blind people right like they're upset on behalf of people who just had their eyes fixed you are such a group of fucking dickheads you have to be angry on behalf of that group of people oh my god i think the modern trend of thumbnail sensationalizing vulnerable people is really cool actually yeah i mean they spent a day with people with terminal illnesses okay this one with like the time left that's uh that's that's pretty bad but um this one, not so much. Well, that's pretty bad. It looks very weird. Like the thumb, the thumbnail could use some work, but I mean, it's clearly been successful and, and it worked. Charity is charity, so good on you, but charity is also your business model. Step one, spend money on people. Step two, make 10 times that money back. Optional step three, complain when every human ever doesn't praise you at all times. Again, it's, it's like people actually don't like charity. It's, this is fucking weird, man. Some men just want to watch the world burn. And this is, this is my point, okay? So... I've kind of, I've kind of realized this. These types of people, you should never try to please. You should never try to make them happy. Whatever you do, it will never be enough. There are certain types of people in this world for whom reason and logic do not apply. Uh, you, you, you cannot reason with these people. You can't argue with them. You can't change their mind on anything. They are who you think they are and they won't change. You know, why even bother? Rich people should help others with their money. Okay, I'll use my money to help people and I promise to give away all my money before I die, every single penny. Mr. Beast, bad. That's, that's literally it, dude. Twitter is just full of stupid people. Mr. Boost, please fix the entire US medical system and dismantle capitalism right now, thanks. Dolan Dark, I wanna go one step further. He needs to smash the patriarchy. Why hasn't Mr. Beast smashed the patriarchy yet? We have been waiting so long. World hunger's still going on. Capitalism is still going strong. Socialism hasn't taken over yet. Can you believe the state of the of things? Mr. B As we all know, Mr. Beast is, is head of capitalism, right? There's so many jokes you can make about this. Like, I understand being upset at the fact that somebody, some YouTube content creator, some guy had to basically come along to do this life-changing surgery for people that couldn't afford it. Obviously, there's a conversation to be had there. Mr. Beast doesn't have to partake in that conversation, but he has started it. Does that make sense? Like, he doesn't have to make the points that that you expect him to or want him to, but he has started this conversation. So if you want to talk about, like, healthcare and, and uh, affordability and blah, 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 that's fine. But uh, giving Mr. Beast shit for be being the most charitable person on this platform is just... It's, it, it's utter insanity to me. Teamstar, they're simply attention-seeking losers. Other content creators, everyone is just like, yeah, no, you're the best. <laughs> this is this is pretty much it. This is pretty much uh, Twitter and Reddit in a nutshell. I'm mad, here's a solution. I don't want a solution, I want to be mad. Nobody who matters actually thinks what you're doing is bad. And that's the exact same point, right? The people that matter, you know who those are. I found this out recently during the whole Hogwarts legacy video. It's just, it's really disgusting behavior, I think. Um, Hassan Piker gave an actual good take on Mr. Beast drama. Well, I got to put the headphones on for this. I get why it creates an icky feeling when you watch like Mr. Beast videos, but like getting mad at him is insane. Like, yeah. I, I don't know. He's just not. I agree with that. He's, he's just making literally the most like bottom of the barrel basic content bottom of the barrel okay you hadn't you had me in the first half not gonna lie yeah they had us the first half i'm not gonna lie let's uh, let's see uh some not bottom of the barrel basic content joe and legs react to the number one oh. cause of obesity is genetics claim wait the what joe Rogan experience. oh wait, this is just uh clips from your twitch this? channel oh yeah this is what this is way better than a mr beast video man uh, i could i could watch this shit in the White House. Uh, all day okay uh weird weird shade to throw hassan but I, I suppose almost all of it revolves around like raising funds for whatever charity the content is about. And I don't know what it is. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't get it. I'm not saying he's a real socialist or anything like that, but <laughs> I'm not saying he's a real socialist, which, you know, yeah. but like, if you watch any of his videos, 
and you get upset at him instead of like upset at the system that has created a, a, a such a gigantic fucking need for this kind of philanthropy to exist i don't know what to tell you it's healthcare that's not free that is fucked up <laughs> yeah okay so you, you pulled that pulled that together hassan in the last third um so i i agree with that clip it's like yeah you if you're focusing on mr beast and critiquing him like for what he's doing you're very far off the mark of where you should be. And Mr. B. Sims, he's not using his money to do this. He does sponsored philanthropy and has his own charity. He is one of many rich people who uses and helps others use charity to not pay taxes. <laughs> he's not a good selfless guy. He helps the government deny you health care via charity. Oh my God. Oh no. Mr. Beast is deducting donations to charity from his taxes like everyone in this country should be doing. What the fuck are you? What are you people mad about? He's, he's deducting charity donations from his taxes. Good, good. That's a good thing. That's basically the individual deciding where some of their taxpayer money is going. Okay, I'm picking the charity and I'm taking that off my taxes. God forbid. And then they just add some, oh my God, you people. Oh, it's, it's a communist page. It's a communist page. Okay. That's why it's a communist page with an OnlyFans account. <laughs> oh, oh my God. These are the people critiquing Mr. Beast. Oh, oh you ever wanted to jack off the communism? <laughs> Is this an elaborate troll? That's gotta be one of the best, best trolls. And look, look, I was right guys. There is something demonic about this, right? Mr. Beast, it's in the title. Hello. It's the idea that someone with a disability needs to be cured. Oh, don't mind me as a fucking quadriplegic. Don't mind me. I enjoy life like this. Yes, please don't. If you have a cure for this ailment, please don't use it on me. Oh my God, it's a disability. Disability. It is a nerf to your overall stats. It, 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 it's a debuff. Yes, please heal my debuff. Get rid of it. I think when people criticize Mr. Beast for shit like this, it always gets lost in the discourse of, well, he's using his money to help people. I can't believe you think this is a bad thing. Okay, so what is your critique? What is your critique? That we should criticize his charity donations? Uh, there's something demonic about it? What, what is, what? These people don't even know what they're saying. Yeah, the fact that someone describes curing a thousand people's blindness as demonic is one of the most insane things I've ever heard or seen. Uh, he can't even articulate what his point is and it has 87,000 likes. 87,000 people can't articulate what they find wrong about this, um, but they believe it to be demonic. Remember a lot of people saying the same thing about homosexuality. Here's this thing I don't understand. Twitter when a rich YouTuber actually uses his money for good and changes people's lives immeasurably. There should be no happiness. Okay. Uh, I think I've ranted on this video quite enough. Some people are just so fucking stupid. It, it truly boggles the mind. Twitter and Reddit continue to impress me with how, how much of someone's brain can be missing, yet they still find ways to tippity type on the internet. Truly outstanding. Um, I have a new setup, by the way. So thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like if you did and subscribe to the Act Man for more awesome content. Leave leave your own uh, traumatic Mr. Beast story in the comments below. Please share it. Um, we, we need the truth to come out about what Mr. Beast has really done to all of us. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv slash the acting mail. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And that's all I got for today, folks. This is the Act Man signing out. Peace.